intersects tutorial part three. Uh, in the previous one, we created this solid panel, but obviously it doesn't look anything like this. So let's uh, let's sort of go back, go back to that panel, and uh, let's fix it up. Uh, there's a few parameters that control sort of the values of appearance of this panel. Um, so first off, point nine and point one are the thickness or the seam of it. So I'm going to change, make it much smaller. Uh, point ninety nine and point zero one. Make sure that the values of those two when they add up to one. Now the offset main. Let's uh, make it twelve inches and let's imagine this is the thickness of the panel. And then offset positive is actually what sort of sticks out beyond the sim. Um, let's always make it two more, two inches more than the offset main. So let's do this plus two inches. That changes the panel quite a bit. Let's load that into the project. Override. So here it is, and the kind of looks a lot, a lot better than the previous one. Now, when select the panel, there's also two more categories that are added for materials. Unfortunately, I didn't make a instance, so they're all type parameters. Um, my intention was to make them instances, so let's go back to the panel yet again and change those to uh, instance parameters. Reload it into a project. Okay, so this way, if this was this panel and you want to make it orange, we can actually do that because the material and finish of it is actually an instance. So let's duplicate that and call it orange. And change the color to orange. So there you go. Now the next step is to create the window panel. So you want to open up a new new family pattern base. Um, place points on, on top of the existing points like we did with the previous panel. Drag them out. Add a parameter. Let's call it offset main yet again. Select all four of those. Make sure that they have the same parameter. So they all move. Okay, now draw a reference line. Connecting them, and let's place two points in each one on both of the sort of sets of lines. Uh, let's first create the parameters that are going to drive it, and again, it's the same situation that we had, but we're going to add a little bit more parameters to. Uh, to those lines to uh, to create this sort of angle surface on the wall and to be able to control how you know how thick those pieces are over here. First thing we want to create is a couple of sets of parameters. Uh, there's going to be a parameter called point nine, point one like before, and then a couple more. I'm going to call them. A1, A2, B1, and B2. 
and this is going to be this point here and this point here is going to be a1 and a2 respectively actually it's fix those up point 0.1 needs to be point 0.1 this has to be point 0.9 a1 is point 0.1 A2 is probably 0.9. B1 is 0.1, and this is probably 0.9. So this way, this is B1. Now this is B2. Okay, and this is B1. So this is A2, and this is A1. Now these are going to be point nines. Well, these are going to be ones. This is going to be point 0.9. I'm sorry. When I get to the end of assigning all those parameters, I'll sort of be able to uh, better visualize what we're actually doing here and why we're doing that. It doesn't seem to be so clear right now, but just hang in there, and once I get to the end of it, we'll be able to better understand what's going on. Okay, seems like all of them have the parameters. Let's connect them with the reference lines. Place points like we did before. Make sure they're hosted by intersections. It's kind of important for them not to be broken down and to make sure that we snap to those points, not to the lines. Okay, so first step, you select the outer outlines and create the form. I'm going to hide it again and then select the inner outlines and create the void. Okay, and now with a few changes to, uh, to the parameters that we created, Probably going to be able to get the. I'm going to get the window to look like we wanted it to look like. Point 0.4 and point 0.6. There it is. So here is our sort of inclining surface, and then all the point nines are going to be 0.99s, all the 0.1s are going to be 0.1s, 0.01s. This is perfect. Now the panel thickness was 12 inches. Let's hit OK. Um, we also want to create some glass uh, material at the end. So let's create a form and select plane instead of a box. So to the plane, let's assign a let's assign a material color glass. And to the rest of it, let's create a parameter 
for the material code we want it to be either black or orange so we want to make it an instance parameter so call it mat one and make it an instance let's load it into uh, into the project select this one and uh, this is one one see if the window works there it is now we can probably there it is the material we can change the material to orange and this is fairly close to what we have over here 